the shallow hip thrust. So this is going to be just like the regular hip thrust. I'm just going to set it up slightly differently. So some people might feel the hip thrust a little bit too much on their quads. And, uh, and this is just to address that if we're going to have to get in a little bit more glutes or hamstrings. So I've got my cushion, which is to take my weight as I sit down in the bench. Now yeah, I'm going to sit down just in front of the bench. Position my shoulder blades just above it. And I'm going to lift up and get my feet underneath this on my shins more or less um, vertical. Now with this one, as, as, we, as I said a minute ago, and it's clues in the name also, we're going to be going a little bit more shallow on this one as opposed to the normal hip thrust. So I set that canister position, I really tense my abs, create some tension here so that I'm not bending from the spine. And all I'm looking to do is then just drop the hips very slightly and then put them back up. And again. Just so we just do the portion of this exercise where it's going to be mainly the glutes doing it. Where sometimes what we get is if, as we drop down a little bit deeper, you'll notice the angle of my shins has changed and then my quads come into play just to do the start of this move. So we're going to take that out of it and just concentrate on the end part of it. Now you'll probably find if you are using weights on to do this as well, you might need to go a little bit lighter. But it may be worth it for you if we're feeling the hip thrust a little bit too much in the quads and that's not your goal. But that is the shallow hip thrust. Oh.